Welcome to the Clinical Practice Guidelines Best Practices page. The links here will provide you with access to evidence-based information in the form of clinical practice guidelines and best practices. Much of this information is available full text. You can search on a specific topic or a specific guideline. Let's take a closer look at some of the sources that are listed here. From the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality is the Patient Safety and Quality Evidence-Based Handbook for Nurses. Issues of patient safety and the quality of patient care are covered here. You can uh, search section by section, or if you prefer, you can search on a particular topic. I'm going to type in catheter-related infections. And it will locate from the book sections that relate to your topic. In addition to the evidence-based handbook for nurses, you'll find the patient safety network. And here you can search for the uh, information you're, lo you're looking for in journal article form. Some of these are full text. You can also look um, by resource type. You can browse the collection. There are journal articles, books and reports, tools and to toolkits. Um, you can also browse by the sponsor or by subject. You also want to take a look at the National Guideline Clearinghouse. This is a public resource for evidence-based clinical practice guidelines. And you can search on a specific topic, or you can browse the indexes that are available by disease, condition, treatment intervention. Uh, there's also a listing of sponsoring uh, agency organizations. Uh, and there is a guideline index that is listed um, by subject and sponsoring agency organization. So those are all um, different options in terms of searching uh, this database. You can also search the National Guideline Clearinghouse Synthesis List. Uh, this is a listing of selected guidelines that cover similar topic areas. So you can see this is a, a good way if you're interested in, for instance, the management of Alzheimer's related dementias. You can click here and you can see there's um, a variety of um, organization agency guidelines uh, that relate to this particular topic. So that is useful if you're looking for a variety of guidelines on a specific uh, topic. And going back to the Clinical Practice Guidelines Best Practices page, uh, take a look at the Practice Guidelines Registered Nurses Association of Ontario. Here you'll find a Best Practices Toolkit. And this identifies clinical priorities in Ontario long-term care settings. Also, you'll see featured best practice guidelines on a variety of topics. And this is available for downloading. Here, you can also take a look at the guidelines and fact sheets. They are also on a variety of topics. and files can be downloaded. The next resource you may want to consider is the University of Iowa College of Nursing Evidence-Based Practice Guidelines. 
Here a series of guidelines are available for a fee and you can order them online. Another very good source um, for evidence-based information is made available through the Joanna Briggs Institute. Uh, here we link to the Joanna Briggs Institute Best Practice Series Database. And you're going to find um, the Best Practice Series of Evidence-Based Information Sheets. And they are listed uh, by topic. In this case, we're going to take a look at one that relates to uh, the psychosocial effect of stroke. Now these sheets um, are summaries of information that has been taken from systematic reviews of evidence. They provide recommendations and they also grade the quality of the evidence that's used. So this fact sheet can be printed or downloaded. Now as mentioned, you can browse the information sheets individually by topic, or if you prefer, you can actually search on a particular topic. And see if there is information available in the database. So I'm typing in pressure ulcers. and it does bring up information um, that is available. Another source you may want to consider uh, for evidence-based information is the Cochrane Database of Systematic Reviews. You can browse the abstracts or uh, search the summaries by topic, or if you prefer, you can go into the um, Cochrane Library which actually contains the uh, database of systematic reviews. You can search by title, abstract, or keyword, or you can browse by uh, general category, in this case anesthesia and pain control, there's 164. Uh, further divide it by more specific uh, aspect of the topic. Here uh, there are 61 uh, that discuss um, acute pain. Uh, you can go in and take a look at, there are two that will um, discuss the co complementary and alternative therapy. And uh, here are music for pain relief. Uh, this again is a summary. You get some information here. If you are interested in um, ordering the uh, full article, um, you would have to do that um, using a, a credit card going to the main screen if you look at the um, access page it will provide you with information on how you can um, pay um, pay-per-view so you can uh, pull up an article and actually order it um, online existing Cochrane reviews are updated regularly as new information uh, becomes available and this is important in the rapidly changing um, healthcare environment of today Another resource you may want to consider using is the TRIP database. TRIP stands for Turning Research into Practice, and it's a uh, search engine that will search multiple sites designed to answer clinical questions using um, evidence-based information. It will search PubMed, the Cochrane Library, and a variety of um, practice guidelines sites. This might be a good alternative to running your search on Google because it will search the sites that contain evidence-based information sources. So let's take a look. And registration is, um, free registration is suggested because you can update uh, searches if you have registered. I'm just going to type in a term here. I'm looking for catheter-related thrombosis. You can see how the index comes up. Here we go. And I'm going to search on this topic. Now the way TRIP works is they will provide the results and they color code 
uh, what comes up. And uh, green is the highest level of evidence, and included there are the evidence-based synopsis, systematic reviews, and guidelines, which you can search by country. Um, so that's something uh, that you want to keep in mind. The color code will tell you um, the, the level of evidence. And if you want more information on that, you can take a look here, and it will explain the filter. You take a look here and you can see there is a variety of um, source uh, information. Uh, again, the color code will tell you um, where it's from, the type of uh, source information that um, the article comes from. Uh, let's take a look at this one. This is uh, actually from the Cochrane Database of Systematic Reviews. So much of what you'll find here is uh, summary form, some is full text, some will link out to um, PubMed searching, um, so that again you can um, take a look at the variety of um, articles that come up. And if you are interested in um, this topic in Medline, again it does search um, PubMed and it actually breaks it down by um, specific aspect of the topic which is kind of neat if you're interested in the the therapy of catheter related thrombosis it will link you uh, in terms of Medline articles to PubMed and um, you can actually um, pr apply limits at this point if you only want um, English, the last five years, so forth, or here it actually tells you uh, there are 27 of the 121 that um, provide uh, access to free full text. So if you um, went through the PubMed Medline tutorial, you know we do talk about how you can limit your result to free full text. Uh, so that is something that you'll see um, through the TRIP database linking to PubMed results. Another interesting uh, part of the TRIP database is TRIP Answers, and it's a sort of FAQ that's been compiled um, for the last 10 years. Uh, it tells you how many answers are in the uh, database here, and you can search on a particular question. I'll say deep venous thrombosis DVT prevention and air travel. You can search that. Um, and again, from the variety of resources that TRIP searches, uh, evidence-based information sources, uh, you can search on their answers, their FAQ question answer database. Uh, this one I'm going to take a look at and it also will um, tell you if the information is older than two years so that's something to keep in mind that uh, perhaps you want to do uh, an update on um, PubMed Medline. So if you like the idea of uh, using a search engine such as Google for searching uh, clinical questions you may want to consider an alternative uh, such as the TRIP database.